That was the bird song of the Eurasian siskin, a small passerine bird in the finch family. And I painted one. Welcome to my channel Dalma Mix and welcome to this video where I showed you the process of painting this cute little bird. Of course, if I'm painting something from reality, I need some reference photos. So I Google. I'm trying to just find some images to really inspire myself and to use as a model. I'm just browsing for photos that really appeal to me. I'm also looking for a pose that is a little bit easier to paint. I see that there's a variation between uh, appearances and I really like this round one with the ruffled feathers. It's really cute. But I know I want something in the background more than just a blurred color. I think I want some little branches for the birdie to sit on. So in the end I decide I'm going to use this photo for reference and this one for the position of the little legs. Of course, every painting project starts with the canvas and I'm actually going to be using a canvas board. As a first step, I'm going to put down a layer of cerulean blue just straight out of the tube. I'm not going for anything fancy, I just want a layer of the primary color that I'm going to be using for the background. And it doesn't matter that the brush strokes are showing at this stage. When it dried, I'm going to make my own colors uh, with that cerulean blue, a little bit of black to tone it down, and quite a lot of white. And now the actual background painting starts. I'm just trying to keep my brush strokes going at 90 degree angles so that it's kind of uniform. And I'm varying the colors, just mixing different ratios of black and white into that cerulean um, to get this really misty looking uh, sky background. When that second layer of background has completely dried, I'm using the remainder of the color I had on my palette and I mixed a little bit of chocolate brown into it. And I'm just going in to roughly paint in where I want some branches in the background. I'm just kind of freehanding them, going with the flow, sort of letting my brush guide me. Also just keeping in mind how uh, trees naturally grow with uh, little branches crooked and twisted. I'm just trying to get a natural look. I do know that my bird is going to be right in the middle of this canvas, so I'm not too worried about what's going to get covered. But my favorite painting process, I actually do paint whatever is in the background almost completely before I paint in my main element in the foreground. I'm not doing anything fancy to these branches, I've just added more white to the color I already created and adding in some more delicate branches. And I'm also toning them down, putting a little bit more blue over them just to push them a little bit further into the background. I'm also mixing even more white and I'm sort of trying to paint in uh, where the light is coming from. So in my case, it's from the top left hand side. I feel like this makes the little tree branches look a lot more 3D. Then I decided to add even more uh, little branches in the background. These one very, very faint, very far in the distance with a very, very light grayish blue. When I'm happy with those little branches, I leave it to completely dry and just with the regular pencil I'm going to sketch in the very basic shape of my bird and the branch in the foreground that it's going to be 
standing on. I'm really not bothered about details at this stage. I know that pencil, those pencil marks are going to get completely covered, but it helps me um, in framing and knowing just exactly what goes where. And because my method includes painting the background uh, completely, I go over the shapes with white just to block out those background colors. It just helps me see the colors better when I start painting the objects in the foreground. Unfortunately, I forgot to turn on my camera when I was painting the branch. Um, but I remember to turn it back on when I'm putting in those highlights. My purpose uh, with this tannish brown color is to make those bits of bark uh, look even more three-dimensional. And I'm trying to put all of the highlights at the top left-hand side. And after that, I go in with a really, really dark brown, almost black, just to paint in the deepest areas, the recesses between those barks, and to add a little bit more detail, sort of like creating an illusion of pitting on that bark. And I feel like this is realistic. I've also referred to some photos I found online. Then I'm moving on to the leaves and I'm basically just blocking in a little bit of green and it's going to take quite a few passes to get it to the right color that I want. But after a few layers, I start going in with my highlight colors and this is actually where the leaves come to life. And that's what it looks like after I'm done with them. I was looking closer at my reference pictures and I noticed that the skin of the bird under the feathers is actually quite dark. So I just used up the chocolate brown I already had on my palette to block in the shape of the bird. And now I'm going in with straight black just to pick out the shapes that I'm seeing on the bird. It has this almost stripy design on its wings and tail and underbelly and has a little bit of a black cap on top of his head. And then I'm just roughly going in with yellow just to block in the areas that are eventually going to be primarily yellow. At this stage everything still looks like a big mess but it's part of the process. So while that is drying, I'm going to focus on the beak. I mixed this maroonish color and I'm going back and forth between lighter and darker variations of that maroon to actually give definition to that little beak and make it look uh, rounded and shiny. Now I'm turning my attention to the feathers. There are these dark areas that almost look like completely black, but I don't want to leave anything a flat black, so I'm going back with various grays to bring in that feather texture. And little by little, through a million brush strokes, I'm creating those tiny, tiny feathers that are on the body of little birds like these. Obviously, they have the longer feathers in their wings and tail, but most of their bodies are covered in these really fine, tiny feathers that almost look like fur from afar. I'm also taking really close notice of exactly what the bird's eyelids and around the eye looks like, because just like with most creatures, the eyes bring the most character, and I want to be very careful with that. Now I'm starting to dip into my yellows and because I have that chocolate brown under it, it kind of turns to be this greenish yellow 
which is a really good thing. It's actually what I wanted because the, the yellow in the cis skin is actually greenish. It's not the orangish kind of yellow. But with many, many passes back and forth, um, it's going to become more and more yellowish. I'm just taking my time because those million little brush strokes will add up to having that feeling of many, many tiny feathers. At this point, I'm working with quite diluted acrylic paints. You can see how almost instantaneously they just dry. It just makes it a little bit easier for me to manipulate at this stage of detail. Again, I'm paying really close attention to the photo I'm using for the reference and trying to follow where the brightest patches of color and the lightest areas are. Just gradually putting in the brighter yellows and the brightest whites because I don't want to ruin all of that work that has already gone in those many many layers of tiny feathers. I've been using quite a small detail brush since I blocked in the shape of the bird. Of course I could not forget about the little feet and I'm going to paint them in a similar maroon color as the beak was. In my opinion this is the most important part of the painting, putting in the shine on the eyeball of the little bird. I feel like this is what brings it to life and gives it so much character and I left that to the end. And with the shiny, lively little eyes, my bird painting is finished. I put in some really faint leaves in the background on those branches. I didn't want them to be on, in focus, but it felt like it would be appropriate. I imagine that this is just a happy little siskin sitting in a tree in a cold, misty morning. This painting was actually a commission. If you would be interested in getting your own custom painting, please look for details in the description. I really enjoy painting birds and these small, round, cute sunbirds are my favorite kind. Let me know what you think about this painting and which part of the painting process was the most interesting to you. I would really like to hear your thoughts in the comments. So far my channel has been focusing on crafting, um, but I'm definitely considering bringing more acrylic painting projects onto the channel. So it would be really good to hear some feedback whether that sounds like a good idea or not. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. Me and my little birdie wish you a very nice day. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.